Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Winning Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I'm glad you're here today because it's time for another episode of Running ABCs. Now unfortunately this is the last episode of Running ABCs because we've kept this going for over a year now and we are at the end of the alphabet. I know a lot of you are disappointed but there's only 26 letters. There's only so much I can do. Plus, I do have other series on the channel. This just happens to be the longest running one, but make sure if you like this one to check out some of the other series like New Runner 101 or Moments in Running History. And I do have a new series coming up that's going to take a look at individual types of races. So be on the lookout for that. If you missed any of the rest of this series, and I'm going to have a link down in the description and up here so that you can find the playlist to find all of the episodes that you've missed so far. But now it's time to finish things off with W, X, Y, and Z. The wall. The wall is the point of a race where things really start to get tough. Your breathing gets labored, your muscles are sore, the negative thoughts start creeping in and you don't know if you could actually go any further. Usually if you're in a marathon this is going to happen somewhere between 18 to 20 miles and normally uh, a lot of experts would tell you that no matter what distance race you're running it's going to happen around two-thirds of the way through. This is a point that kind of determines how the rest of your race is going to go. Are you going to drop at that point or are you going to try and find a way to push through? So it takes a lot of mental stability to break through a wall and that is one of the toughest parts of running. Warm up. It means literally warming up your muscles pre-run. The whole point of a warm up is that you're supposed to be raising your heart rate enough so that your body and your muscles are going to be loose enough that you can take on heavier bouts of exercise. Warm ups are essential to preventing injury and so it's something that every runner should be doing for about 10 to 15 minutes before you start a hard run. Usually it's going to be a walk, light jog, or some stretching. Be sure to go back to the letter D where I talk about dynamic stretching. That's the kind that you want before you start a run. Wind chill. That's how cold it actually feels outside. Now the air temperature is going to be at a certain level, but once the wind kicks in, a lot of times it's going to drop that even further. So you may want to pay attention to what the feels like temperature is as opposed to the actual temperature as you are preparing for what to wear before you go out for a run. World best. A world best is a recorded best time for an event in which world records are not typically kept. For example, if you got the best time at a 150 meter race, since that's not typically a standard length race, you wouldn't have a world record, but you would have a world best. They'll also make a similar distinction for that for a road race that doesn't meet certain standards. For example, if your road race has an excessive amount of downhills, it will typically not be able to be counted as a world record, but you can still count it as a world best. WR, that's just shorthand for world record. XC, that's just shorthand for cross country. Cross country seems to be the forgotten part of the running world, which is sad because it's absolutely fascinating and a lot of amazing records are made in cross country. I'm gonna have a link up here to a review of a book that I did, The History of Cross Country Running. So you might wanna check that out if cross country is something that interests you. X train. You're looking at your training plan and you notice that some days are going to say X train. This is just a shorthand way of telling you that you need to do cross training on that day. This is any activity that gets you up and moving but is not running. So think hiking, walking, cycling, swimming, anything like that. I'm gonna have a link up here to my video where I talk about what cross training is. Yak tracks. Now when the cold wintry weather starts moving in, you'll hear a lot of people talk about breaking out their yaks. These are removable spikes that can be added to a running shoe in order to help prevent you from slipping and falling on icy and snowy ground. A lot of people will also take them on trails because you can easily put them on and take them off of your shoes without a lot of effort and you can just stow them easily in a bag. You can check the official website yaktracks.com for more information. Z angle. This is a relatively new term but I'm seeing it thrown around a lot particularly in reference to physical therapy. The Z angle is the angle formed by your hip joint and your ankle when you're viewed from the side when your stance leg is about to leave the ground. The Z angle needs to be equal. So your hip extension angle needs to be equal to your ankle and vice versa. If your Z shape isn't perfect, like too little hip extension, too little ankle motion, 
it means that you are setting yourself up for problems like hip pain. And there you have it, the end of the running ABC series, ending with W, X, Y, and Z. If you found this informative or helpful, make sure that you let me know by dropping a comment down below or giving me a big thumbs up. It does help the channel and it gets this series out in front of more new runners who need the information. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you hit that subscription button down below. You might even want to hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time that I upload, which happens several times a week. You can follow me on social media. All my links are going to be down in the description. You can find me across most platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am so glad that you were here for this series with me, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Happy running. Warm-ups are essential for injury before you run. Mm -hmm.